Hi, Hi everyone. everyone, and welcome to Florida Vlog Day 2. Sunny day, sunny day, sunny days. No clouds in the sky, but I can't away. Feels okay. like it's been a Sorry, don't call me because I'm gonna be on break. Sunny day, sunny day, make way. All the stress and doubt. Hollywood Studios this morning. It was so hard to get up. It really was. <laughs> but we're so excited because we're going to go to Rise of the Resistance. We've got a Genie Plus today, which again we fought for our lives to get a Genie Plus because literally it wasn't working yet. So we were just like, oh no, tapping it and tapping it all morning until it finally worked. We got a Slinky Dog for a little bit later, which is really exciting. We are going to Ogre's Cantina today, which is also really exciting. We're about to go fill up the resort mugs and get. You want to get some Mickey ears? I want to get some Mickey ears. Yes, I'm not wearing Mickey ears today. I have seen the plain ones that I really want to get, and then we're going to go to Disney Springs today. It's going to be such a good day. Off to Hollywood Studios we go. Hopefully it'll be just as easy to get the bus as yesterday and we are going to run to rise mm -hmm. because genuinely we're going to queue for that today like we're not going to get the lightning lane but it's going to get busy I'm pretty sure. Yeah. It's Columbus Day so it is definitely going to be a busy one. A busy one yeah again. That's why we basically got Genie Plus again because we were just like otherwise we're not going to be able to get on anything and when we clicked Slinky Dog it was already at like one o'clock this afternoon so I think we made a good choice there. It's another cold morning. It's another cold morning. I think it's 18 degrees, but there's a bit of a chill in the air. It's like autumnal, it's crisp. Loving it. Supposed to get up to 27 degrees this evening. Well, midday, and then it'll go down again. So we're sun creamed up, we're ready to go. What are you most excited for? Rise. Well, rise, rise, yeah. Have you made a decision on your hat yet? On my hat? Yeah, the one that you wanted. Oh, no, not yet. <laughs> I was like, what hat? Maybe no, you're like. I've, I've not made one just yet, no. Maybe you'll see a Star Wars hat or something. Yeah, that's true. I feel like buying something like that first day when there's so much more to see. <laughs> it's a rookie error. And we're going so. to World of Disney later. Mm. So, definitely going to be looking in there. And I bet you'll see some Star Wars stuff you'll sure I will. be I tempted I, by. I didn't see too much yesterday, so I'm sure there'll be more. Okay, I'm going to get my ears from Maestro Mickey's. This is such a cute little shop. The These are the ears that I got. Plain ones. Ready to go. We're excited. Busy, busy today. We were aiming for extra magic time, but with the bus and everything, and then with the Genie Plus going down and like everything like that, we just were a bit late. Okay, we're in. That was. So busy, I mean we were expecting it, but yeah, so so busy. Even the bus, like the queue to get the bus here was insane, <laughs> so busy. But now we're in and we're heading down to Star Wars. But to be honest, we're gonna run straight to Rise, but now we're thinking do we get some breakfast first? Some breakfast first because you know we're just in at general time now, so we may as well make the most of it. And I'm getting a bit hungry. Yeah, me too. And since we're going to Star Wars, we kind of want to try a Ronto wrap, so we're thinking maybe we'll go there mm -hmm. first. Get a Ronto wrap, which will probably be busy in the morning, but I really want to try the breakfast one and then ride Rise, because then we'll be full. So yeah. if the queue's long, it's not gonna be too bad. Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. When you wear the badges, everyone's so cute. Like they're just saying like, happy moon, have an amazing happy ever after. And they're so nice. The thing I'm most excited for about going to Star Wars right now is the fact that it's your first time. Yeah. And I'm so excited to see your reaction. It's like, you know when you buy someone a present? Yeah. And you're just watching them open it. It's not even like it is. Yeah, it's literally like that. So I'm excited to see what you think of it. As a Star Wars fan, because I don't really know about Star Wars that much. Yeah. I'm not huge. Fan. Yeah. I like the films, but I'm not like I don't know much about it. And then you're like a really big fan, yeah. so it's still different to Star Wars. And they've got the 8080s getting hyped, excited. <laughs> yeah, those huge things. Last time I didn't know what they were called, so no. I was just like <laughs> the, big, the big dog things. Big dog things. <laughs> but yeah, you can tell me all about it and everything. Yeah. And also, you'll be harder to impress. You'll be able to tell me if it's as good as I thought it was. Mm. <laughs> no, I'm sure it will be. Expectations are high. Yes, your yeah, expectations are high. <laughs> but I think they'll be met. Right, let's head in. Mm. Get a wrap, have an explore. Oh. I'm excited to try the Ronto wrap. Yeah, me too. I think it's going to be yummy. You ready? <laughs> yeah, 
the uniforms are sick. I think it's so cool. Let's see an X Wing. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, that one. The spaceship. The queue for rises, absolutely. Oh, is that the Ramo, yeah. I mean, it's the first thing in the morning, isn't it? It so. is Ramo. What's the wait time looking like? Uh, 105 minutes. 105. Oh, did we just get in it? We'll see what happens later. See okay, what happens. okay. I am prepared to wait a long time for rise. Yeah. Last time I did it, we waited two hours, and it wasn't too bad because the queue is themed, so it's fine. It's fine. We'll just see what happens. The theme is so good. It's incredible, isn't it? It's crazy good. You're here. You're in the Star Wars movies. <laughs> <laughs> this is what you can get. We're gonna go for. Are you getting a Ronto morning wrap? Yeah. Me too. Looks good. I'm actually so hungry. And we're gonna have breakfast, and then you'll get like your big reveal of the Millennium Falcon. Not seen it. Not seen it yet. Not turned the corner. So far, so good, though. Yeah. Are you happy? You live in a childhood fantasy. <laughs> right. We're next to a very loud generator of some kind. But this is what it looks like. It's egg, sausage, cheese, and peppercorn sauce. Yeah. So you try first. You want me to try first? Yeah. I'm gonna get a bit of everything. It's good. Seven. A seven? Yeah. Update. I didn't finish the Ronto wrap. Upon reflection, I'd give it a seven. I'd probably give it a four. I wasn't a big fan. The more I ate it, the more I was like, I'm not enjoying it. And then the sausage was making me feel sick. So it, yeah. it was a lot, to be fair. It was a lot. It but truly I enjoyed was. It. I wouldn't. I wouldn't get it again. But what can you see? Millennium Falcon. It's massive. We're literally just walking towards it now. We're gonna, the plan is to like just look at the Millennium Falcon for a second, take some pickies, and then get in the queue for rise because the lightning lanes are gone. We did. We did temp fate and they're all gone so we're going to just have to queue but it's currently 115 minutes so that's not too bad in my opinion yeah it's worth it it's absolutely worth it that's so cool it's massive describe the millennium falcon in three words big pile of junk that's four words mm -hmm. <laughs> that's four words some reference from the movie big pile of junk <laughs> I should have said, describe it in four words, uh, maybe a rookie error. Okay, I'm going to flip you, because I know you want to see it, I know you want to see it. Da, 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 da. It's very cool. Do you know what, the camera, it doesn't do it, it just justice. Is. It's like I told you last time I went, like I was trying to take photos and I FaceTimed Jay when I was here last time, and it genuinely doesn't, does it? No. It's huge, yeah. like it's so, so, so cool and just massive and actually does look like the size of an actual spaceship. There could be people in there. Well, there are... Is it supposed to be to scale? I would imagine so. This is literally like it's just landed in the middle of the yeah. Disney park. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It looks incredible. The theme is so good, like all the wires and everything. Yeah. Every single detail has been thought about and it's just it's something fun. else. It's something else, yeah. So good. Mm -hmm. I'm so full now. I'm so full. We've got like two hours in the queue at Rise though to keep us going. Oh, to later on. Yeah, I don't know. So I'm still not sure about that run to morning wrap. I'm still not sure. Rise of the Resistance, two hours. Let's go. So we've been in the queue for 50 minutes. Something like that. 45 minutes. 45. And we're just going into like this section here. If you know, you know. We're going in now. So it should just be, I reckon, another hour. Yeah. Yeah, that means a two hour wait time was right. This bit of the queue is cool. It's not just chicaning anymore. Yeah. But we're actually going in. Even like the queue theming, like there's something to look out. Yeah. So it keeps it quite interesting. This queue is like motivational because it does keep moving. You don't really stop for long. So it keeps you feeling like, okay, we are actually getting somewhere. BB-8, is everyone assembled? Yes. Good. Should you be a try prep? Thank you for joining the cause. A covert resistance team led by my friend Finn has infiltrated a first order star destroyer that is now headed to this system. Your outpost on Watu is no longer safe. We have transports waiting to take you to General Organa's secret base on the top.
Wow. <laughs> it's incredible. It's so good, isn't it? So, so good. Honestly, that is worth the two hours, in my opinion. Yeah, amazing. That was amazing. It's like quite a long ride, so it's just so worth the wait. Yeah, that was so worth the wait. Out of 10? Yeah. Just, yeah, 10. So ten. I've got a question for you. Yeah. Was it better than Tron? Was it better than Tron? Yeah, 100% better than Tron. Yeah. It's really good. Amazing. I think that's probably my favourite ride at Disney. Yeah. It's really, no, really that good. That was amazing. Can we have a look through the shops around here? Yeah. It's, ten, we... it's 10 to 11. It's 10 to 11. Should we get some blue milk? Yeah, oh, sorry, it's 5 to. Yeah, let's do that. So we got out at 5 to 11, so we yeah. didn't actually wait two hours. It's not bad going. No. So we've waited, been through the ride an hour. Yeah, in about an hour and 50? Yeah. Yeah, that's not too bad. Okay, let's blue milk and we'll do some shops. There you go, you can get a pork, get a little one. Oh, are these the ones that go on you? I'm not sure. That one looks, oh there, that's like a shoulder one, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, they go on your shoulder. I think they're like magnets? Yeah, they're magnets. Yeah, so you, you put, put that the magnet under, under and like it goes on your shoulder. Part, yeah. That's fun. That's cute. <laughs> How much is that? Does it say? No. I can get the big ones too, the big cuddly ones. What's asleep in there? There's a cat. <laughs> it does like a cat. Yeah. But it's got bird talons. Yeah. There's just so much detail everywhere you look. Even like the little pads on the wall and everything yeah. that light up. Yeah. They're so cool. Oh look. You can get a chewy. Get a little chewy. I actually love him. And what's this? Get a little Ewok. Ewok. Or a Jawa. Jawa. I'm learning the lingo. Stormtrooper. Stormtrooper. I don't know who this is. I might become one of the cartoons or something. What does it say? V Marad. Maradi. Can't say I've heard of them. I think my favourite's Chewie. Yeah. That's so cute. Look, over there you can get Luke Skywalker. Oh no, yeah, Princess Leia. Leia. Get a Ray. A Ray. And then Kylo Ren. Oh, Kylo Ren's cool. Yeah. I like these little yeah. little toys. Wow, look at that checkers. So you can get Sabacc, which is a card game in Star Wars, but there is an actual way to play it. Oh, that's cool. So it's like a game they made up for so the films. That's only 16 99 And then that's the game on the Millennium Falcon that they play. Aww. The Dejaro. That's cool, so you can actually play the games. Play it. Have <laughs> you seen these? It's like the old poseable Rogu. Oh, that's cute. Very fun. Make him. Can do a pose. Make like. him like sniff his armpit or. It's a very sassy. Oh yeah, that's like stuck right there. <laughs> you can get a whole outfit. Get your um, Jedi robes. <laughs> that's fun. Yeah. Oh, that's really good material as well. Oh yeah, feels nice. Mask and gauntlets. Boba Fett mask. Yeah, those fans look very Patterine. serious. <laughs> that's a serious fan. Yeah. Oh, yeah. well, that's cool. That mug. Yeah. How much is that? Twenty-four ninety-nine. It's not bad. That's a huge mug. That's quite cool. Yeah, the hat's cool. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. Twenty-nine ninety-nine. That's not too bad for a cap at Disney. No. And there's a frame as well, so you can put your little photo in there. Okay. Imagine having this on your keys. It's massive. Yeah. Little pins. These are nice. Cantina pin, Black Spire outpost. Even the shop has like all this theming that's just so cool. Like it literally feels like you're here. What have you picked up? It's like a satchel thing. <laughs> a satchel. But it's 24, that's not bad. 24.99, yeah. Not like, too bad. It all feels like really good. Yeah. Got a Black Spire outpost stuff up there. Mugs. Yeah. Oh, and they've got a t-shirt. I like that. We'll make it our business if we need to. <laughs> Who's in the Fallen Order Star Wars games? Mm. He's only in the games. This is the droid store, repair, building thing. So basically you can build a droid in here but you have to book it on the My Disney Experience app in advance, I'm pretty sure. But I think if you talk to a cast member, it looks like there's room in here, so. Yeah, I bet you could just go in. It's really I cool I think in it's here. ones where you'll have to book it if it's busy. Yeah. Like, so you're definitely guaranteed, but if you, there are walk-ins available, you might be lucky. It's amazing. Maybe. They've got all the parts up in the ceiling. Yeah. And look over there, like there's all the broken ones. <laughs> okay, got the blue and green milk. Mm. Right, I'm gonna 
want to try the blue first. Yeah. The blue first. Have I remember blue was my favourite. Oh, have you had this before? Yeah, it's really good. Ah. Blue. Really nice. Okay. Do you want to go for green? Have you had green? Yeah. You've had both before. Yeah. Okay. Green also nice. But blue. blue is your favourite. Blue is my favourite, yeah. Okay. Like, I, think go, I think try green first. I was going to say I'll try green first. Yeah. It looks go like green. it shouldn't be drunk. Yeah, it does. <laughs> they actually make it from rice milk so it doesn't melt in the hot weather. Oh, that's I think. smart. Just smelling it. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> not your favourite. It's not my favourite. I will say. Try the blue. Attention all troopers. Yeah, blue milk's better. Yeah, it is. is yeah. The green milk's nice. Green is good. But this is better. Blue's the one. They just infected oh, these people's photo <laughs> 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 Oh, he's a cast member. <laughs> I actually love this. Uh, yeah, it is good. I think it's... It's on its last legs. Yes, it's on its last legs. <laughs> So you so gotta do it. You gotta, gotta, do it. gotta do it while you can. So fun. Waka waka. Waka waka. Oh my Muppet Vision. So we've done Muppet Vision. That was okay. Showing its age, bless it. Yeah, bless it. it's. It's getting on a bit now. Yeah, so. it's nice for aircon and it's also nice to sit down because obviously you are hurting, especially after a long day of Magic Kingdom. But we came out of Muppet Vision and we've still got like half an hour for our Ogre's Cantina reservation, so. We got ice cream sandwiches. We got ice cream sandwiches. I'm so excited. This is my favorite Mickey shaped snack, apart from the pretzel. This is like second best to the pretzel, in my opinion. It's basically like an Oreo cookie back in home. Like, you know the Oreo ice cream sandwiches that you can get in the frozen section? It's that. It's basically that, but it's thicker and Mickey shaped. So better. Yeah, they're amazing. If you haven't had one before, definitely consider it because they're so yummy. Especially when the sun's out. Especially when the sun's out. The sun has come out now, by the way. It's looking very nice. It's feeling very warm. It is so busy today. Slinky Dog is currently at 170 minute wait. Which is insane. Very glad we've got a lightning lane for that. We're thinking we'll do Slinky after this. Mickey and Minnie's lightning lane at like four o'clock. So we're going to find something to do between those two times. And then after that, we're thinking we might dip. Yeah. I think that we'll might see. be the play. So we're going to do that and then we're probably going to head to Disney Springs, which should be fun. Hopefully a little bit quieter. Yeah, we're... We'll see. <laughs> thinking we're going to get some dinner in Springs because we're going to do Woody's Lunchbox, but I think it's going to be way it's too gonna, busy. It's going to be a write-off, isn't it? You can it tell. Is, it is, yeah. Your loyalty. It's got an entourage. <laughs> Is that where we're going? It's very cool. Crazy yeah. Feel like you're in the Star Wars. Yeah. This is the menu. I think I'm gonna go for a fuzzy Tatooine. Oh, are you, are you having alcohol? Yeah. So what are you going for? I think I'm gonna go for a fuzzy Tatooine. That's Tauntaun. Right, Tauntaun. How are we doing today? Tauntaun. Oh good, thank you. Excellent, welcome to Miss KT. Now Bruce and Beer Kevin, for your first time here? Yeah. yeah. You can get things without alcohol as well, which I think Jay's gonna go for because he doesn't drink. So, you've got your choice put out for you. Yeah, I've decided. I think I'm gonna go for the Jabba juice. So, it's the orange with pineapple kiwi, cantaloupe, blueberry popping pills. Mm, yeah. That sounds good. Sounds alright, that does. Okay, let's order. So, we're going Jabba juice and a fuzzy tauntaun. Yep. This box is so cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a little DJ. Yeah. <laughs> That's the fuzzy tauntaun. It's got some what you can't, can't really see it, but it's got some like dots. <laughs> I don't know what they are. Fuzzy foam on the top. Yeah. And then this is your Jabba juice with pocket pills. Okay, <laughs> it's very questionable. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah. It's weird, like, it's the foam that makes it like... Has the foam got a lot of flavour in it? Um, 
not the dough, but the actual drink is really good. Amazing. Oh. Want to try yours? So you're trying the Jabba? Yeah. What, is that an actual glass? Yeah. Oh, that's cool. It's like a proper, proper bar, isn't it? Really good. It looks so cool. It's just like a juice. Right, we're gonna drink up. Enjoy. Yeah, really good. <laughs> Two chin. The camera's going wacky, so I apologise. But we're tempted to get this ogre's obsession, which comes in like a. It's like a petri dish. Like a petri dish. So we think we're gonna order that next, seeing as we're here. Why it, not? It looks interesting to say the least yeah very curious to see what it's all about so we've got the yoga's obsession and it is quite literally a petri dish it looks like jelly looks crazy yeah you can go first i think it has popping candy inside yeah is it good it's like blueberry lemonade okay jelly. okay really yeah nice. okay and it's something a bit different. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Yeah. It's popping candy. It's yeah, good. it's really, really nice. There's no alcohol in it. So. No alcohol, yeah, so safe for kids and everything. <laughs> Definitely the weirdest thing we've eaten so far. That's good. <laughs> So, we're out of Ogres now, which, by the way, I didn't know if I mentioned this, but it's a Star Wars themed bar. And they serve alcoholic and non-alcoholic drinks. So, we went in there, which was really, really amazing. I've had that booked for ages, so we've wanted to do it for a long time. And it was so good. Yeah, so, and the, so good. basically, the, at the end, the guy was like, oh, it's your honeymoon, like, congratulations. And they chucked a whole mats. stack of placemats at us. So, we're going to take those home and share them with everyone, because... Why, why, would, why would we not? We are running Slinky Dog because we can check in for our lightning lane so we're gonna go and do that and then we're gonna see where the next couple of hours takes us because we don't have any plans after this. So next, Slinky Dog. Slinky Dog. Are you looking forward to Slinky Dog? Yeah. yeah? Like, I think we did well to get the lightning lane for this because it's so busy. So I'm yeah. shocked that we even got one for this time. Mm. And we're literally on it separate park. So we're just chilling in the lightning lane. It's a lightning lane. Normally like lightning lane has a little bit of This is bank holiday queue. But it should move quite quickly. Hopefully.
serious now when I say this iced chai with pumpkin cream cold foam is the nicest Starbucks drink that I've ever had in my right. entire life. It's pretty good. It's insane. It's basically, and just, it is what it says. It's an iced chai with pumpkin cream cold foam, which I don't know if we have that in England, but it tastes like autumn. Tell the folks at home what we've just been doing. Tell the folks at home. Yeah. So we've just seen an Indiana Jones stunt spectacular. spectacular show and it was as good as ever. We had a really good seat because we decided to get there a little bit early because it's so busy we just were like let's go sit in there. So we had a really good seat and it was really, really good. Stunts are always really good in there so if you haven't seen it before definitely recommend. It's a nice little like get out of the sun in the midday heat and mm. also if you just want to rest your feet for a little bit because like, yeah. I'm feeling so refreshed now after that. Yeah me it too. It was amazing and then we decided to just go on a little stroll and we saw Starbucks was pretty empty so we were like okay let's go and pick up a Starbucks. I feel like we've had a lot of drinks today. We've had the blue milk, the green milk, the Ogre's Cantina drinks and this. So we've had quite a lot of drinks. Hydration. Like, we've not really ate much. Not really. It's currently nearly four o'clock and all we had is a Mickey sandwich and a Ronto We've been going since 8 o'clock this morning, so yeah, we've just had loads of drinks for some reason. But yeah, obviously this is like a filling drink, so, you know, fair enough. But we're just going to have a little walk down, is this Hollywood Boulevard with Tower of Terror on it? I couldn't tell you, honestly, I, I could not tell you. It might be Hollywood Boulevard or Vine, I'm not sure. But we're going to go walk down to Tower of Terror and maybe have a little look down there. All the Genie Pluses, as we said, have gone now, so we literally can't get on anything else after Mickey and Minnie. So we're just sort of like taking it in at the minute, having a little sit down. We're sat in this amazing little corner. Literally, it's right around the corner from Starbucks, but that's the street with Tower of Terror on it there. And we're sort of just sat back here and there's like no one really around here so it's really quiet and nice and chill i'm not on screen right now because i'm eating a cookie really Jeez, really eating a mickey shaped cookie from starbucks which it's a bit messy it looks good but it looks it's like sort of stuck to it wrap though it's a bit of a, uh, a mess but it's good yeah i'm glad you're enjoying it mm. we're just gonna finish off our starbucks have a little sit down it's so nice in this corner i'm really loving it Nice little quiet seating area away from just like all the busy, I guess you call them streets. Yeah, it's yeah. lovely. Gonna have the walk up to Tower of Terror, have a wonder, because we've not been there yet. Don't you think that's mad? Like, we spent the morning in Star Wars, then we had Toy Story, and we spent quite a while there, because we did Stinky Dog. Yeah. But it's mad that you can spend like hours in there and not even touch like the other side of the park. Yeah, I mean, we're definitely coming back. We're here for two weeks, so. This is not the end of the Hollywood Studios portion of no, the videos no. by any means. But I feel like we've done quite a lot today. Like we did quite a lot of Star Wars, so I'm happy with yeah. that. So yeah. We've still not done Smuggler's Run, so we've got to come back and do that. Yeah, we've still got to do Smuggler's Run, we've still got to do Tab Terror, we've still mm -hmm. got to do Rock and Roller Coaster, we've still got to do some of the other shows like Frozen and Beauty and the Beast. So yeah, we've still got loads to do in here and barely touched the surface, mm -hmm. to be honest. Mm -hmm. We haven't done Toy Story Mania either. No, it was actually closed. I don't know why, Yeah, but it was closed when we looked. That's so. down, but also the lightning lanes are, yeah. are over for so, that, really, so. the, the line, like when it comes back up, if it does, is going to be horrendous. <laughs> so yeah, we're going to get on Mickey and Minnie's now and then we're going to catch up with you guys a little bit later when we're at the hotel. The plan is to head back to the hotel, freshen up a little bit, and then we're gonna head off to Disney Springs. So we'll see you a little bit later, but I am going to film a little bit of Mickey and Minnie, so enjoy. One more thing that I absolutely love about the drinks at Starbucks in Disney parks is that they have the little Disney logo on them, which is the most adorable thing ever and is extra Disney magic in my opinion. Love!
back and ready for Disney Springs. Can you notice something about us? We have matching spirit jerseys on. I finally convinced Jay to get matching spirit jerseys with me after months. Mm -mm. I said <laughs> I would be buying this spirit jersey. And if Georgia wanted to buy the spirit jersey as well and we happened to wear it at the same time, so be it. But I wouldn't be wearing it because she was wearing it. <laughs> Basically, he agreed to matching outfits, and I'm so <laughs> happy about it because literally for months I've been saying, Please, when we go to Disney, can we get matching t shirts? Please, when we go to Disney, will you match with me? And he's like, No, we're not matching. I was like, When you get into the Disney bubble, you become those people. You become the people who match. Do you know what I mean? So, we're the people who match, and we're gonna go to Disney Springs in our matching spirit jerseys and probably buy more matching things. Oh, I don't know about that. <laughs> we're gonna go to Blaze Pizza for dinner because we haven't done that yet, and we really 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 have been looking forward to going to blaze haven't we mm -hmm. it's amazing so hopefully it's not too busy with columbus day and everything blaze is on the cards looking very cool like a dad outfit fit check <laughs> my new local primark shorts <laughs> fans dad trainers and spirit jersey got your sunnies and got my sunnies from tens Looking like a hot dad. Hot dad. <laughs> right, let's go to Disney Springs, hot dad. Shut up. <laughs> Where's my socks either? They have little smiley faces. <laughs> Maybe I should have got Mickey ones. Maybe. <sighs> Mr. Trick. Mr. Trick. Ordered our pizza. Yeah. We're in Blaze Pizza. Waiting on the buzzer. I asked the guy for sweet corn and he looked at me like it's like Because sweet corn does not belong on a pizza. I'll I'll die on that hill. They just not they just don't get it here. And that's <laughs> fine. We've got our pizzas. You excited? Yeah. I have a vegetarian sausage, pepperoni, and basil. I went for chicken, pepper, and pepper. We're gonna dig in. Is it good? Yeah? So let's dig in. Enjoy. We've eaten and it was incredible. Jay's just getting napkins. Now we're going to do some Disney shopping. The pizza was really good. Yum. We've been having a nice little walk through Disney Springs. Walking that pizza off. Walking the pizza off, having a slow mooch, and we're about to go into the mothership. Mothership. <laughs> World of Disney. And we're gonna walk in, I was gonna say walk in rich, but we're not doing that. We're gonna walk in poor and come out poor. Oh, it looks like we're gonna go around to the other entrance. This is a Disney Halloween fan's dream. There's a whole Happy Halloween section at the back, so we're literally running there. Not literally, but we're running there. Walking at pace. We're walking at pace to the back. I can already see a giant Mickey pumpkin, <laughs> like decoration, which is just insane. And it's got candy corn in his head. Wow. I want to bring that home. <laughs> I don't think that will fit in the suitcase. No, it probably wouldn't even fit in our living room. <laughs> oh, look at these. Little pumpkin mug. What are we saying? Twenty four ninety nine. That's not too bad. Oh my god, look at that jumper. That's nice. This jumper. It's got all of the different characters in ha little Halloween outfits. What's on the back? More characters. Pumpkin. I really like that. I'm tempted. I am tempted. I haven't actually seen this in any of the parks, so I think it does keep selling out. Because look, they've only got mediums and extra smalls. Yeah. Oh, they've got a small. Not seen this shirt yet. That's very funky. I like that one. Grace, go and get Cute. Lost. You've got Happy Halloween Mickey. Love him. I love the cute little orange spirit jersey too. And the lounge fly. It's very nice. The Disney stuff, like for Halloween, is good this year. I mean, I'm not a Disney much person. I'm not a Disney merch person. <laughs> he says. I bought one spirit jersey. <laughs> this is one just the beginning. Jersey. It's just the beginning. I want this t-shirt. This one that says Happy Halloween. I'm gonna buy this. What do you think? It's a bike shorts. Oversized. Yeah. For it to the Halloween party. Yeah, this is 
just found Pua. The last time when I came, I really, really wanted a Pua. They only had like the sleeping ones, like you know the massive like yeah. ones that you can see from that so I could push in. I just found this one. What will Nero think at home? <laughs> this is the one that George was on about before. The sleeping the one. The sleeping one. It feels like really cushiony. Mm, really I cushiony. I do like that one, but I just, I just don't think it looks like him. That one's better. Yeah, I agree. This one does feel comfy, but I wanted like a proper one. We found Baymax. This is so tempting. Everyone knows that Baymax is the best Disney character. You love Baymax. I do. <laughs> it's so dumb. <laughs> this is so nice. It is really cuddly. It's like you can imagine cuddling it at night. We'll get Pua. Aww. Sorry Baymax. Christmas collection, but it's a cellar router, so it's that's just nice. extra small or small is left. I think I would get this if I could get it oversized. Going into the Disney 100 section, George is already in there. But I thought I'd just show you the sign. Where is she? I've legitimately lost her. Oh no, <laughs> I lost you, but we found you, so it's fine. It's an oogie boogie mug. I feel like you can drink anything out of this. Can you imagine? Look at that tiny hole in the top. Yeah, it's, it's, it's not really made for drinking, is it? It's no. made for sitting and just looking a bit spooky. <laughs> yeah, you could not drink that. that. That's a bit cute. Anything with Baymax on it is good. He's, a, he's adorable. He's good. Look at him waving. <laughs> Hurts to hold. Yeah, he's like dollars, stopping so. me. So I said yeah. I'm not a Disney merch kind of person, but... $9.99 for the Infinity Gloss with stones. Just to give it the casual. I've got so much better sweets since the last time I came. The cocoa ones are so nice. The sweets don't even look nice, but the packaging makes me want to buy it. Do you know what I mean? And it's cars, steering wheels. It's to get you. They've got like... Oh yeah, look at all this, these sweets. And then you've got the trail mix, Chip and Dale. <laughs> Yeah, that cocoa one's so cute. The sweets look nasty. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> look, they've got more. Disney jellies, character gummies. Hey, just look bad to her. Those sour cherry balls sound amazing, but they're horrid. You, even Mickey looks like he's not a big fan. Yeah, he's not enjoying that. Oh, bless him with his little sour face. Gummy worms, sour taffy. We're gonna have to take some home, I think. We're heading back to the bus. After a lovely evening wandering around in Disney Springs. It's been chill, hasn't it? It's been so chill and lovely. I absolutely love these trees that are all lit up. They're so cute. Back to the hotel now and an early night for us, I think, because tomorrow's Epcot day. <laughs> and Mickey's not so scary. <gasps> ah! Okay, we're back at the hotel now and we're just gonna climb into bed and sleep because we are so, so tired. It's been another really long day. So I'm just gonna end the vlog here. So with that said, thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you haven't already to see all my future content. Have an amazing day or evening depending on where you are and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye guys. <laughs>